Hey, today I'm going to do a demo and review of Collab.ai. It's AI virtual staging. And I must say, overall, I'm impressed and excited about this software because it's fast and it does a pretty good job. So let's rip through a few example rooms here. I'm going to pull up, uh, let's go with empty room. All right, we got an empty living room. We're going to go luxury. I like the luxury option, actually. You don't see that a lot. And this is interesting. You can choose to remove existing or not. We're going to remove it. So it's going to get rid of where it highlights that. It's gone. And we're going to do it. Now, normally I would pause while this is happening, but it is fast. And it's so fast, I want to just keep the video going so you get a sense of how quick this is. The other thing I like about this is all your photos are in one area and you can check them out there so you can see all the designs you've done. Another thing I like about this software is with one image, you get multiple versions. You get the original, which is really nice because some software, the, the, the original disappears and you kind of wonder, well, what, what did that look like? So here we go. We've got the original here. And then it also creates an empty space version of the room, which is really cool too. So that's some really nice features. And now we look at the results and we've got four. We've got that. I mean, these are pretty nice. Now, let's put this in context as to when this is going to be used. This is really designed for realtors and professionals. So a homeowners, would they pay the monthly fee? Yeah, maybe you get some ideas, but really ideally this is more of a staging software than it is a help you to create an actual design. And the reason I say that is, as you can see, the inputs were very limited. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do a kitchen because kitchens are interesting. But overall, I would say for staging, this is outstanding, right? If you have an empty house as a realtor and you need uh, photos to make it look like it's furnished, this is going to do a very nice job. Let's go back here and let's upload a kitchen and let's see what it does. So go here. Let's go luxury again. Uh, remove. Yeah, we'll remove. You can see it highlighted. The various dishes in the fridge so let's let's see what it does with this you, know, you got built-in cabinets so this is a different sort of thing rather than removing furniture so i'm actually going to be curious i don't think i ran a kitchen through here and so i don't know how this will make it look any different here's our rendering now this is I'm impressed. I like it. Again, we've got original and empty, which empty is the same. Now, what it did is it added some furniture into it. Um, I think the island would have been a better addition, but the sit-down dining area is not so bad. This is this is where AI does weird things, and it thinks this is an island. <laughs> so, so it's not perfect. All right, and but this is pretty standard with AI software these days. It's still not 100% perfect. But I would say if you take a look at it even changed out the hardware, which is which is nice. It it made it look a little bit, but it didn't radically change this this design at all. So let's try something else. Let's take a furnished room, a living room. We're gonna remove the furniture. Let's go luxury. Okay, it's gonna remove all that. Let's see what happens. And we get our results. Original empty and version one now i like to look carefully at the original the original we got that door there so did it keep keep that yeah it kept that this this is quite good often it will ai will get rid of you know permanent aspects of a room like that which doesn't help we've got this design actually works quite well too now, the question is, of course, is it an improvement? Because this isn't hideous or anything either, right? So um, I, I'm thinking, like, ideally, the software is really good for the empty rooms. It seems to do a really good job for the empty room. I want to do another empty room as a demo. Let's see what it does with this. Uh, let's, let's try a different design. Let's go farmhouse is popular let's see what it does so we've got this empty room here while it's doing that let's check out my photo so when you go to your photos area it's all stored here everything that you've done now it's not showing me the original it's showing the created which 
I think it might be better if they showed the original because that's sort of what I recall, right? I remember adding this. And these are the rooms we got out of it. It actually did quite a nice job with this too, as you can see. So I'm impressed with that. And then it, I did do a kitchen and it added seating. And I thought this was a pretty nice addition. That was an empty kitchen here. And it added that and that that I thought it did a pretty nice job and it still stuck with like it didn't completely overhaul the kitchen. So for for nuanced additions, this does a really nice job as well as furnishing empty rooms. If you're looking for something more radical or a dramatic makeover, this is probably not the best software. It tends to stay pretty consistent. Now here's our latest design the farmhouse of the original empty room. We got four designs. Um, it looks a little bit less, much better. This looks kind of like a doctor's office. I like that. Oh yeah, it doesn't look quite right. But that, that's probably the best. Anyways, uh, for staging, it does a really nice job. That would be my conclusion with the software. Now you can do a couple of other things too, which is pretty interesting. And I'll just finish with that. We can go to item replace. So this is fairly limited. I have a fairly high up package just because for demo, I wanted to show uh, what it can all do. So we could swap out floor and then we could swap out furniture. So it creates, so you click on these and then it'll suggest options. So instead of fern, we could put that in there. You can see it's very limited. Now, this software offers business integration, which means I, by what I read about this is if you are selling furniture or selling home decor, you can incorporate this AI software and add your own products to the catalog for when people are doing this sort of looking to add products into their designs. And that is obviously a way to sell more product. All right, so it's it's a very limited catalog right now. Just give me that. That's kind of cool. We get some good lamps. Let's see what the chair offers. Now the chair offerings are not great. Okay, I would prefer that chair. So it's going to be a hit miss. But it is it is a neat feature. And if you do sell ecom and sell home furnishings and so forth, this could be a software you might want to talk to them about and use on your website. Because overall, I would say I use a ton of AI software. This stuff's pretty fast. Uh, this is fast and it does a pretty nice job. Overall, I'd say perfect for staging. Like I, this, is, this is well worth the money for someone who needs to stage a lot of images. If you're looking like for uh, design ideas for your own home, this would not be it. I would probably go more with something like a sandbox type from scratch designers such as Ideogram or, or Mid Journey would probably do a nicer job just to give you ideas. But for staging, this is outstanding. Thanks for watching.